In Lebanon right now, state media is reporting what appears to be another deadly wave of exploding devices. This all comes just one day after health officials there say at least a dozen people were killed and nearly 3,000 others were hurt in an attack that appeared to target members of Hezbollah by blowing up their pagers. Two U.S. officials tell NBC News Israel is behind those blasts. So far, Israeli officials have not commented directly, but Hezbollah is promising to retaliate. NBC News international correspondent Raf Sanchez is live in Tel Aviv for us this afternoon. So Raf, lay out what we know about this attack today, what kinds of devices exploded. Vicky, this is a very fast-moving situation, but at this hour, Lebanese state media is saying at least nine people <clears throat> killed and more than 300 injured in today's set of explosions. And while yesterday's blasts all over Lebanon appear to have been the result of exploding pagers, Lebanese state media is saying today they are seeing walkie-talkies, two-way radios blowing up. And again, we are seeing this not just in Beirut, the capital of Lebanon, we are seeing it in the south of the country, near the Israeli border. We are seeing it in the east, in the Bekaa Valley, which is another Hezbollah stronghold. And once again, emergency rooms overwhelmed all across Lebanon with this absolute influx of the wounded. So this does appear to be a second wave of what American officials tell NBC News was an Israeli attack yesterday. We don't know exactly how the Israelis got these explosives into these pagers, but however they did it, it had devastating effects. Vicky. Raf, it is difficult to know how this might have occurred. We know in the explosions yesterday, the pagers appeared to be linked to a manufacturer in Taiwan, but that company says the pagers were made in Hungary. What are your analysts and your sources telling you about the potential for tampering with these kinds of communication devices? So this is a very complex, very shadowy supply chain at mm -hmm. this moment, Vicky. As you said, this Hungarian company, according to the Taiwanese manufacturers, are the ones who actually made these pagers. But a member of our NBC News team called that company early this morning. They reached a woman who said she was the CEO, who seemed quite shaken to mm -hmm. find herself at the center of this international news story, and said that her company doesn't actually make the pagers, that they are intermediaries. So it is not clear at this point who exactly produced the pagers. It is possible, though, that the Israelis, either at the beginning or in the middle of this supply chain, got hold of them and planted those explosives. Thank you. Raf Sanchez with the very latest out of the Middle East for us. Raf, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.